Hello and welcome back to our next video in our series on XYZ Mesh version 9. Today I'm going to be looking at the display options that we have available as well as the color variations. But before I do that, I'm going to change this back over to a mesh so we can more easily see what we are looking at. Okay, so inside of the display options you have several options for axes which is automatically displayed that is the arms that you see in the center we also have another option here which is the ground level so if you toggle on the ground level you're going to see that there is a new grid that showed up below and that will allow you to see where the ground is. Next thing we want to look at is the background. Now there's currently three different options for background. You have the gradient background, which is on by default, light background, which is a light gray, and then you also have a dark background, which is just black. And this is saved in your settings, so when, whenever you change it and you close out of XYZ Mesh, whenever you open it back up, it should save these settings. Next is the color effects. Now we do have lighting variations, which mean that you can select a single solitary color and depending on the height, it will give you a light projecting down. And we can change the color down here at the bottom going from white. We can change that to red or whatever color that we want in this selection down at the bottom. And the closer up in the Z it is, the more lighter it's going to be. The further down in the Z it is, the darker it's going to be. That is the light sh uh, slash shading. Next is the color variant by percentage. Now this will allow you to set the current percentage of what range you want certain colors to be at. You can change these by going to color effects and going to custom colors and with the custom colors you can select whichever colors you want in a certain percentage range so for instance i have this right here i'm going to bring it up over top of my picture so we can see i currently have 100 percent so the highest point possible on this graph is going to be pink from 90 to 100 percent is going to be red and i can change this to whatever color i want so let's change this to gray and as you can see the chart changed and now it is gray now these settings are the default settings and you can change these to whatever you want them to be this is just the defaults now you may notice that there is a section over on the right hand side of this window. This section is the depth change the colors based on the Z values. So you can see right here the lowest is set here while the highest is set there. And this is specific to whatever chart that you are currently graphing. So this is going to be different for every graph unless you have the same set of parameters going across multiple things. For instance, you always have a line that is always going to be red and it's always at this value and it's never going to pass over that value and if it does then you want that to be red this is how you set that and to display it all you have to do is go to display color effects and color variant values so this is colors based on values and from here we can put in whatever colors that we want it to be now something to point out with this is it's not going to actually change until I put the highest value in because right now the highest value is set to zero so everything is red because the highest value it's reading is zero but as soon as I change this to whatever is next so it's 0.45 it's going to change all of our colors so anything that is over 0.45 is going to be red and I can change this to any color that I want. I can change the color variations as much or as little as I want to. So for instance, I want this to be 7. And let's just change this all the way down. Let's make that 9. And we'll just keep bumping this down. So as you can see, now the colors are changing more drastically. And this is entirely up to you whatever you would like to put these values in at. And like I said, this is very circumstantial to whatever graph or chart you are currently using. So it might be entirely different depending on every graph that you do. The next thing we're going to look at is 
the no effect. And what the no effect basically means is it's going to take whatever color that you have specified down at the bottom right of the screen, right underneath the size, you can just specify whatever color you want and it will be that flat color. Now the final thing that we have inside of the display portion of XYZ Mesh is the information window. The information window is constantly improving and we're adding more features to it as more customers have uh, requested or are requesting. And basically when you click on the information window, it's going to calculate a lot of different stuff for you and bring it up for you in this neat little text document right here. You can also have the option of exporting this document, going to file, save as, or you can copy it all to the clipboard. And what this does is it shows you the minimum and maximum values of each cell, such as the X, Y, and Z minimum and maximums. You see the correlating cells that correspond with the maximum and minimum Z values. You also see the average Z, so the average height of all of them. We calculate volume down here, which volume is calculated one of two ways. You can either have the above volume, so going from the very top point to the very bottom point, everything inside of that, or you can be going from the very bottom point to the very top point and have everything inside of that. It really depends on the needs that you are looking for, but both of those are calculated right here with the calculation for volume. The slope is also calculated. You have an average slope, you have the lowest slope and highest slope, and then you have the point-to-point -point slopes. You have an ability to sum up all of the Z's, so all of the values of Z summed up together, as well as a sum of all of the meshes together. You then can get a total surface area. Now this is a flat surface area. It is currently not available with the curved surface. We are working on implementing that, but currently in the version 9.0.1.25, which is the version I'm running, we are still working on implementing the curved surface area. Right now it just takes the flat surface area like we see in that chart there, where everything is, you know, flat box connected together, it's taking those flat surface areas and giving you a surface area for that. It also separates all the way down through here all of the individual values for each and every square in the grid. So all of the mesh is calculated for you here with individual surface areas for each. Okay. That concludes the display options inside of XYZ Mesh. Whenever we come back, we will be covering, I believe, the graphing options inside of XYZ Mesh. How to rotate the graph, how to uh, zoom in, zoom out, all that other fun stuff. Thank you all very much. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to try XYZ Mesh out for yourself, description will have download links and a link to the main website. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.